Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. Thank you for stopping by for a visit today. I hope you're having a great day. I'm doing okay right now. <laughs> so yesterday I had told you that um, I had hired a girl to come and help me organize my yarn room. And um, she wasn't able to show up today. And that was quite okay with me because yesterday really did me in. I was so, so, so worn out, and last night I was in so much pain, um, I just could not sleep, like, I was just, I, I would doze off and then just wake up just crying in pain, and I, phys I didn't physically do all that much yesterday, I mean, I was up and moving around and trying to, you know, pack up stuff and move stuff and you know, participate, but, um, I just, you know, my, my body just can't hold out to do stuff like that, and so, I was, I was miserable all night long, and Big Daddy woke up at one point, and he said, I wish you would go take some pain medicine, I said, I did, I mean, normally, I don't, I don't like taking pain medicine, and so, he assumed that I didn't take any, so he was like, I wish you'd go take some pain medicine. I was like, I did. I took pain medicine. And it just, it just was not touching the pain. I was aching and hurting so bad. So I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep at all last night. I mean, I would doze off, but then I would just wake right back up because I was just miserable. And... Um, so after he left this morning, well, before he left, I, after he got up this morning, I went ahead and got up and was, um, getting ready for her to come, and I had told her last night that, yesterday evening, that I was gonna go through my whip drawers and get a few things out that I was gonna frog and wasn't gonna keep and reorganize my whip drawers, and so, um, I was like, well, I better do that this morning, <laughs> so I did that all at, like, 7 this morning. And she was supposed to be here at 8.30. And um, when I got finished with that, I was looking around. And I did a couple more things that I could, you know, do on my own. And then she texted and said she had to take her daughter to the dentist. And she would be here tomorrow. And I was like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I didn't know if I could do another day. So I really needed today to rest. And so that's what I did mostly today. I text Big Daddy and told him that she wasn't coming and I was going to lay down and he you know said okay <laughs> you know I just didn't want him to text me and wonder where I was and what happened to me <laughs> but um so I've slept today I finally was able to get some sleep and just relax some and she'll be back tomorrow she said so here we go again. <laughs> anyway, I got a box in the mail that was a total surprise, shock. I was like, what in the world, Elijah? I had seen the mail lady left a box out there. And so I asked Elijah, would he mind checking the mail? And he did. And he came back in and he set the box down on this, my bench over here. And so I was like, um... And he, he just walked off. I wasn't expecting anything. And so I said, um, whose package is that? And he's like, well, I guess it's yours. It's got your name on it. Well, smarty kid. And so he gets it honestly from his mama and his daddy. And so I was like, well, give it here. And so I was like, here, let me open it. And so we opened it. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I was just totally shocked. So, Nancy, hi Nancy, she sent me a package and it just blew me away. Like, oh my gosh. Let me see, I have um, the card from Nancy right here. I stuck it in one of the books to mark my place. It's a pretty tulip card. It says, hi, I hope you enjoy these books. I was going through my books and found some duplicates. And I got to thinking, who can, can I give these two books to? And you immediately came to mind. So, happy belated birthday. You're a special lady. Love, hugs, Nancy. 
Nancy, thank you so much. I mean, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm just blown away. So Nancy gifted me some books. Like, I think they're all like Emigurumi books, yeah. And they are fantastic books. And some of them I had on my wish list and just had not, um, you know, got around to getting. I have an Amazon wish list and... Um, Sometimes, you know, my kids or husband can look on there and see things that I want or whatever. And, um, that's, you know, the purpose of it, really. So, anyway, let me just show you. The Big Book of Little Amigurumi. And this has a 72, seriously cute, it says seriously cute, <laughs> patterns to crochet. And so... I wanted to make something <clears throat> immediately out of here. I want to make something immediately out of all of them. But I wanted something quick that I could work up. And plus I had that little stuffing issue going on. That I will take care of this weekend. If the weekend ever gets here. <laughs> and so. Phoebe, I'm sorry baby. I need two hands. She's wanting me to pick her up. But I need two hands today. One second. Uh, you're so spoiled. <laughs> so anyway, I went ahead and made... Oh! Oh no! I forgot my circles. Dang it. Okay, I'll show you anyway. But I forgot to add my circles. And I even got my... <laughs> I even got my scrap ball of white yarn out to make the circles to go on the mushrooms. And I forgot. <laughs> I was just waiting to get this video done. But I wanted to make something out of one of the books first. Okay, so let me just tell you about the books. This book, um, The Little Big Book of Amigurumi, this is on Amazon. And it is just full of cute little... Um, cute little critters that would work up really fast and like if you were um to me what this what all these little things remind me of I mean they're just so so cute um if you were given like a birthday gift and you was putting a tag on the or a Christmas gift or something and you're putting a tag on it and you tie a ribbon or something these would all these little things in here would be really cute to like add to the gift tag or something like that you know of your present or something, but um, I don't I don't think the things in here are very tall. I think they're all on the smallish side, which makes them even cuter. But I will show you what I made minus their spots. I made this mushroom. I can't believe I didn't put my spots. <laughs> I will show these again when I make my spots because I'm putting spots on them right after this video. So I made this red one. And this is made with, I, I did all the three of these with a G-hook. This is Craft Smart Red. And this is um, Red Heart Super Saver Buff. So I made this red one. And then I made this little gold one. And this is made with um, Mainstay Gold. <laughs> And then I made this little orange one. And it is made with, um, it's a mystery orange because it was a scrap ball. It was probably, feels more like a I love this yarn. And it worked up more like a I love this yarn because it was really, really soft. And wasn't holding shape very well because of how soft it was. So I made these three little mushrooms. without their spots so I'm gonna go back and make their spots but anyway the book does have small medium and large and I'm not sure what size hook the book calls for but let me let me tell you this when I'm on Amazon I, I look at crochet books all the time on Amazon just cruising through looking you know and I read reviews because people are brutally honest <laughs> if you're on social media if you have a YouTube channel, you know people are brutally honest. 
they tell you things that they would never tell you face to face but for some reason um you know when they're on a computer or have a type keyboard in front of them they feel like they can just spill their guts and say whatever so reviews are always really good on Amazon <laughs> And so, um, I don't know about this particular book. I'm not, I'm not really mentioning the reviews for this book or any of these books. I'm just saying, I always read reviews because people are honest. And, um, a lot of people mention, like, they'll get a book in and then they'll give the book a bad review because it calls for a small hook. And so, um, a lot of people who have arthritis or hands with issues um, and just you know as we get up there in age and stuff you know sometimes that our eyes go bad we might not be able to use a small hook I'm talking like a 2.5 and you know <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get down to that small I have gotten down to like a three and a half and it's difficult for me you know, with my hands, I prefer, I was preferring a five, but now I've kind of gotten used to using the four hook, so I'm comfortable with that. <coughs> I can use a 375, because it's not much difference between that and the four, and I'm using a 3.5, <coughs> which is um, pushing it. But anyway, people will give a book a bad review because the book patterns call for a small hook. Just use a bigger hook. <laughs> you don't have to use the hook size the book calls for. You can use, and if it calls for um, a sport weight, DK weight, you know, whatever, number three yarn, and you're not used to that, you can use a four weight yarn and a bigger hook. The pattern's still going to work out. But anyway, this book has some really, really cute things. Um, you can see that frog right there, super cute. They're all just so cute. So, so cute. And the, the <clears throat> I will say, the pattern in this book was very easy to follow. I didn't have any problem whatsoever. Only just remembering to put my spots was my only problem. So, and it, it does have like these little circles to give you an example so you can cut felt circles out. But I'm going to go ahead and crochet some white spots. Okay, so Nancy sent me that book, but Nancy also sent me some other books. I did not know I needed this in my life until I looked at this book. Ta-da! Amigurumi <laughs> Animals at Work. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at that squirrel. I need him in my life. Like, oh my gosh. I have a few whips going at the moment. But he is in the lineup. Like, push everything else back. I gotta make the squirrel. And I'm not a squirrel lover. But he's so cute. Look at him. I have flipped through this book. And I have to make that squirrel. And then this cat. I'm not even a cat person. <clears throat> I mean, I like cats. But, I mean, I'm, I'm a dog person. But... This cat right here, I've got to make her too. Oh my goodness, look at her. Look at them long legs. i got to make her. I, I think I'm going to use different colors. Oh, and this little chick, chick mama. Mama hen, a baker. She's baking cookies. Oh my gosh. She will be coming to a YouTube near you soon. There's so many cute ones. Phoebe, watch your nose, baby. Oh, this kangaroo. Oh my gosh, look at this little mailman kangaroo. Oh, These are so cute. I'll show you the back of the book because it just shows some back there. But this cat, I don't know why I'm just drawn to her. Look at them long legs. I definitely will be making that squirrel first. I even was like pulling out the yarn to make it and I was like, wait, wait, I can't. <laughs> I gotta make, I gotta finish these things first. But he is so cute. Yeah. I did not know I needed a 
squirrel in my life until I got this book in. So thank you, Nancy, for showing me this squirrel. Now, I'm not sure exactly about the patterns yet because I haven't made anything. Let me just look. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's written simple. I mean, it's written, you know, simple like decrease three times single crochet in the last 15 stitches. That's, you know, very understandable. <laughs> so, I'm sure the patterns are. I had never even seen this book on Amazon. Oh. It's 14 cute animals to crochet. Animal, animal, amigurumi animals at work. Oh, how cute. Okay. And then this book was also on my wish list. Amigurumi. Oh, super easy amigurumi. And so, the front of this book is just beautiful pictures. Do you want down now? Yeah, it's not all fun, is it? <laughs> She's like, I thought you were just going to hold me and love me. Well, down? I'm going to get down. Go get in your puppy bed. Go get in your puppy bed, okay? <laughs> but the front of this book is just cute photography. Look how adorable. Okay, she's in her puppy bed now. These little chicks with a carton of eggs. <laughs> I love that. So, so cute. The pictures are so cute. Okay, this page right here, I'm all about this merry-go-round that is not crochet, but it is a gnome merry-go-round. Look at that. Like, oh my gosh, I wish I had that. I've never seen anything like that, but it's like, it looks so vintage. And just so cute. So, yeah, the, the front part of this book is just um, adorable photography for, like, all these pages. <laughs> and then it starts in on the materials and... Um, patterns and such and these patterns are written different I've never seen patterns written like this before um, it does have a chart and then there's another like a list and it tells the row the number of stitches and the single crochet like it'll say one for row one six single crochet in the group loop I've never seen patterns written like that, but I have read through it, and I mean it's it's followable. I can follow that. Um, and then row two is like you're gonna do plus six, six stitch increase. Um, instead of saying two, instead of saying increase in each stitch or something like that, it's just written different. But if you've been following, if I wouldn't say this is a beginner book, not at all. Even though the little projects are look beginner friendly, because they are little and cute, uh, just the way the patterns are written, I wouldn't say it's a beginner book. Because you need to know how to read patterns and you need to know what this means. <laughs> um. You just need to know what this means in order to make that. So I wouldn't say it's a beginner book. And I, I mean, I don't see anywhere where it claims to be a beginner book. But I'm just saying, unless you're uh, familiar with reading patterns and knowing how patterns work up. But it's really cute. I mean, all the little figures look like they're very beginner. And, you know, I mean, you might could figure that out. But I think when I first started crocheting... I wouldn't have understood what these, um, the way that, pat like, that's the pattern. I don't think I would have understood what that meant when I first started crocheting. But now that I know how amigurumis work and how they, um, 
build, <laughs> I would get it. Okay, so here's another cute book. This is Amigurumi Adorable Collection. 40 Heroes, Animals, Monsters, True Crochet. Look at that gnome and his little fat cheeks. <laughs> so if you watched yesterday, you know I made Norm the Gnome from Hooked on Amigurumi. And this book is so cute. It has got some really awesome things in here. There was a skunk. I've never made a skunk before. Um, there's just so many cute things in here. Um, so many adorable. I'm trying to see if there's a page that shows... Duh. Right here, it shows like there's a Miss Gnome and a Mr. Gnome. Oh, sorry. I like that chicken. There's so, so many cute ones. There's, um, there's a chicken, there's a dinosaur, a bear, a, um, <coughs> Bertha, bug-eyed monstrous, a fox, a fox hat and scarf, a giraffe, a lamb, a um, teddy bear <coughs> that is really, really adorable looking because it's different. Um, a Thomas the giraffe scarf, Theo tri-horned monster, a starfish, a hippo, a pufferfish, a skunk. A mermaid and she is on the chunky side <laughs> I gotta find a picture of her oh this Dolly the Dash Hound I will be making two of those one for each of my sons because they both have tweenies dogs and so <laughs> they both have tweenie dogs and so I want to make those the weenie dogs out of here uh, there's a wolf horse Mr. and Miss Gnome monkey um, a dog scarf, a rhino, a pig, a zebra, a really fat, chunky squirrel, a little superhero girl, and a turtle and a strawberry. Um, I gotta find that mermaid and show you a close-up picture of her. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is, this is me as a mermaid. <laughs> Look at those cheeks. <laughs> She is so cute. I gotta make her. Like, I need to go through all my books and make make every mermaid that's in any of my books. And just compare them all. <laughs> She's cute. I cracked up when I saw her. Okay. So, that is an awesome book, too. It's so, so many cute things in here. And then, another book. Yes, another one is a hookable amigurumi 18 cute and cuddly animal series look at that little baby lamb and that frog the giraffe oh these are so so cute i'm probably gonna make that bird with a variegated blue that i have um like i'm already designating yarn for these projects okay <laughs> um let's see if there's a no, but here's the bird, and I think I'm going to make her with a variegated yarn that I have. Um, she is so pretty, so cute. And just this book is just full of little critters. I just want to see if there's a content page. There's a bluebird, an elephant, swan, lamb, bunny, frog, turtle, giraffe, whale, monkey, turkey, owl, lion, squirrel, seal, penguin raccoon a bear and there's also pages for basic crochet uh, abbreviations about the author author and acknowledgments there's a raccoon on the back and he's really cute i used to have a friend back when my kids were little we all homeschooled and did stuff together with some other friends and um she had a little girl and every time they would come to my house down the highway would be raccoons that he got run over and so 
anytime they were anywhere and they saw a dead raccoon on the road, she would ask, are we going to Miss Kayla's? <laughs> so, um, raccoons are, I always laugh about that. Every time I see a raccoon, it brings that to memory. Uh, let me see. I haven't made anything out of this book yet, but let me just look at a pattern and see. Yeah, this is very easy to follow. Um, it does give the scale, scale level easy. Finish size 12 inches. And that's with using a, um, a 3.5 millimeter hook. Which I'm going to use a 4 hook. So it won't be, that won't be much of a difference. So it'll still turn out about 12 inches tall. But yes, I love that book. And then one more book. <laughs> Crochet a Farm. 19 Cutest Can Be Barnyard Creations. <coughs> and then on the back, there seems to be by the same author, there's Crochet a Zoo. And there's Bath Time Buddies. And it shows just a little more examples. Um... Let me see. Um, in this book is included a is included chickens, ducks, rabbits, pigs, cow, horse, donkey, sheep, alpaca, a goat, old English sheepdog, cat, mouse, farm harvest, and then it has pages for stitches and different useful things that you might would need. But um, oh, look at these chickens. And let me just look at a pattern just to see. Um, and these patterns, this particular pattern is calling for a 3.5. But I'm going to use a G hook, a 4 millimeter hook. I'm going to use that. Yep, it's written very easy, very simple. Um, single crochet one, single crochet two together repeat nine more times so you do that ten times on that row yeah it is very um very understandable i mean i'm just kind of looking over to see if there's like anything that i don't understand because sometimes patterns you know can be tricky and that's why we're going to have a series of how to read patterns coming up very very soon Yeah, the, it's written very well. I mean, from what I see from here, the patterns are um, readable. <laughs> anyway, um, it's some really cute things in here. Uh, oh, here's the uh, alpaca. There's a goat, and there's a little barn cat, and a mouse. So, so it's cute little things, and it's 19 Cutest Can Be Barnyard Creations Crochet and Farm. And it looks like she also has the zoo and bath time buddies. Hmm. So, very cute. Yes, I will be making some of those, especially those chickens. <laughs> so anyway, if you was keeping count... You know that Nancy sent me six books. Thank you so much, Nancy. That is just like blew me away. Like, and then we were leaving right after I opened this. We were leaving, and um, I grabbed two books to take with me to look at. You want to know which two it was? It was these two. <laughs> this one right here, and this one. I took both of these with me to look at while we were gone. And I just love, like, I love everything in this book. I, I just love all of them. Like, I just want to make everything. You know, there's not enough hours in my day. <laughs> but they are so, so cute. Uh, everything in here is just adorable. I didn't know I needed animals at work. I didn't know I needed that until I got this in. <laughs> 
So, um, yeah, I'll be making that squirrel and that cat from this book. That's the first two things I'm going to make out of this book. But that little kangaroo mailman is super cute, too. <coughs> so, guys, I, I know this video has gotten kind of long, but there was six books to look at, okay? <laughs> and I do have on my pajama top because um, I've just been taking it easy today and not even must get dressed. I did brush my hair and pull it up. Um, I was, as I was getting ready to make this video, I was thinking, gosh, I'm so jealous of Yarn in Pajamas channel name that Yarn in Pajamas because she can wear her pajamas and you already expect pajamas because it's in her channel name. Like, that was very, very smart. <laughs> it made me jealous that my channel name wasn't Llama Mama Kayla in pajamas and then I could just show up in my pajamas every day. <laughs> And not feel guilty because you already expect it. <laughs> so I do have all my pajamas. And I don't feel guilty because I don't feel that well today. But um, tomorrow is a new day. And it's a beautiful day to crochet anyway. And I am fixing to crochet some circles. <sighs> so these will pop back up um, probably in tomorrow's video. Which is a Watch You Working on Wednesday. And I have made a couple little things to go <coughs> on my sweater. So I'll be adding those tomorrow. And I might make a couple more things tonight. Because i got to do something while I'm sitting here, right? <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you all again soon. Bye, friends.